So today I'm swapping out my mountain recirculator valve for a GFB VTA. Okay, so the number one difference about the GFB uh, Venta Atmosphere Recirculating Valve is unlike with the uh, Turbo Smart uh, Blow Valve slash like dual port recirculating valve thing, um, this you do not need the uh, reference valve adapter. This will work with the OEM um, boost regulating module or sensor, whatever you want to call it. Basically, that, that pressure solenoid that regulates the opening and the closing of the wastegate actuator. So this is literally a plug and play. You have your window right here for the blow off valve. You got one, two right here. And then you have your uh, spring adjuster to dictate how much or how little of a blow off sound that, that you have. If you like that reverberating uh, sound from your blow valve, you can tighten this screw down, right? So it's pretty simple. Um, this notch right here is gonna be the part that goes in towards the, um, towards the boost pipe neck. So it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, if you guys want, you can go back and see the videos that I've done for the compact and the mountain, and I will be right back. All right, there she is, all set up, good to go. I already did um, start it up to make sure that there's no air leaking from around it, and it's all set up in place. Um, obviously, once I get to driving it, I'll be able to fine tune that a little bit more with that center uh, Allen key. That is a H6, I believe. Uh, it has a five, that is a, a five mil hex so that you can adjust that uh, righty tidy lefty loosey as everyone should know. And if you don't, now you do. But it was much easier to install than the compact. And like I mentioned before, uh, you do not need to purchase a boost reference adapter and mess around with your intake manifold. This will work along with it to maximize your boost regeneration and to maximize the pressure in the turbo along with the acceleration that you gain from having a blow off valve versus a normal recirculator valve. Um, I do have this set about two turns tighter so that I can maintain uh, good power when I'm under about 35 to 4,000 RPM. And then once I exceed that, that uh, level, then you'll get the uh, blow off. So it's not obnoxiously going off every time you get on and off the gas, wrench daily.